Here the graph shows the variation with potential difference of the current in three different types of components. And their graph looks like this. These are what we call IV curves. Which row correctly identifies the components? So we have a bunch of choices. Oh, this is confusing. I'm not going to look at that. Okay, let's, let's stick to this. We have a choice of metallic conductor, a semiconductor, and a filament lamp. Now, this one, you kind of have to know the properties of these three types of materials when they have electricity going through them. Metallic conductor, R, is always constant if your temperature is constant. R constant. What is R, by the way? From Ohm's law, VIR. So R equals to V over I. And this is the ratio. Uh, just V divided by I. It's not gradient. Ratio. V divided by I. So I think the first one is a bit easier to see. Which one is constant all the way? V I. V I. V I. Ah, this one. Uh, this one. This one is a metallic conductor. Metallic conductor. Also known as conductors that obey Ohm's law. V I R. So we can have a, I think we can cancel out some answers already, right? Metallic conductor is Y. Yes. One, two. Gives us a better chance of hitting the right answer at the end. So that's the first one. Then semiconductor and filament lamp. Eh? Now I don't remember, let's say I don't remember semiconductor, but I remember something about filament lamp. Filament lamp, when it is a larger uh, current, it gets hot. When it gets hot, resistance will increase. So in the end, all, when I increase voltage, increase voltage, my current cannot increase already. So you're going to recognize the shape of this one. Your filament lamp actually will be this one right here. Filament. Filament lamp. So that this kind of shape, uh, IV. no matter how much you increase your voltage, your current is pretty much stuck. You can increase to 2,000 volt, but your current is like, oh, I cannot already, too much resistance, I cannot increase anymore. That's what this graph is telling you. Okay, and you can take ratio, la, rate that point to find the resistance value. That's a filament lamp. Resistance increase means it will flatten out like that for IV. So that the leaves the last one. So the last one has to be semiconductor diode. Semiconductor is a very interesting failure. La. This semiconductor, oh, the more, uh, the, the larger the V, okay, I should say this out here, larger V, suddenly oh, more and more charge carriers will appear, so your current will actually increase quite a lot. So that will be something like this. Actually, let me write it down. Resistance will decrease, so current will increase. So maybe at first your semiconductor is like, eh, I don't want to conduct anything. Then you reach a certain point, let's say 0 0.2 volts. Suddenly everybody be excited. Okay, let's flow. Let's flow. Okay, then you go up. So you just change a little bit of voltage or everybody, the current suddenly increase a lot. This is used a lot in electronics. Your phones, your calculators, your computers. And we wonder why we use semiconductors. They are, they... They have very interesting properties. Alright, so the best choice here will be B. La. B. The shape. Kind of know the shape. Okay, so this one. Resistance is decreasing. You get this kind of shape. Resistance increasing. You get the kind of shape. Know the shapes.